What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2022 Showdown Live. Uh, I am back home, apologies for the absence the past couple of days, I know that I did like one video saying I'm back, uh, but unfortunately right after that, uh, I had to move back home because I finished college and also I'm a little bit sick and today's like the first day I feel comfortable recording again. Uh, I might be a little bit stuffed up, but uh, you know, I'll be better in a couple of days now. Uh, also, if you're wondering where the in-game content is, we'll be returning to that in like a day or so. I just have to, you know, get all set up here at home. Uh, but happy Mother's Day. Today, we're going to be using a Kangaskhan team because of that. Uh, you might be wondering, Marcos, when did you make this Kangaskhan team? About five minutes ago, and that's why the video is going to be late. Uh, but yeah, so Kangaskhan is a pretty interesting Pokemon. Kangaskhan actually is a normal type, which is very rare to see in... Uh, VGC in this format, if we actually look at like the top normal types, uh, it's like in DD, Porygon, Ditto, and, and then Chansey, which is just a shame. Uh, but Kangaskhan is strangely viable. Uh, it's got Scrappy, which got buffed in Gen 8 to be immune to Intimidate now. Uh, it's also a pretty fast fake out Pokemon. I'm actually running max speed to ensure I outspeed other timid Kyogres, uh, but we have an Assault Vest set with enough uh, bulk that allows me to take a Mystic Water, Modest Water Spout from Offensive Kyogre. Uh, we are, well, I mean, every Kyogre is offensive. <laughs> uh, we have a Bulkization Crown here. We have our Choice Scarf Kyogre because I have like no speed control on this team beyond Icy Wind. Uh, we've got our White Herb Lander Therian, a Focus Ash Amoongus with Seed Bomb to help deal with uh, opposing Gastrodon, which could be very annoying if we face Arrhenia Sun today. And of course, Trusty Incinera, but yeah. Let's go ahead and get into the video. If you guys enjoyed at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because I bring you daily VGC content. And answer my comment question of the day. Uh, how's your mother? <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. I don't know. But yeah, uh, once again, I'm a little bit sick today. So uh, apologies. Uh, what's my ladder right now? We're at 1549 and I've never played with this team before. So let's go ahead and just drop my ladder today. Let's just get into it. But yeah, uh, I mean, like, I, I haven't played in like a week because I've been like getting ready to like move home uh, but hopefully I, I think you know this is just like a genuinely decent looking team we just have to not get absolutely annihilated by everything we see uh, we see a Calyrex Ice team with Kyogre uh, no Trick Room beyond the Calyrex Ice uh, itself it might have Trick Room on the Whimsicott which we have to be careful for at High Ladder you actually tend to see that once in a while uh, which can be kind of frustrating we have our Kangaskhan of course uh, I'm going to say in this matchup, uh, just leading off with Kyogre is not a bad idea. We get instant damage. Uh, it's not a terrible lead versus their Kyogre. A Rillaboom could be quite annoying, but I don't think I mind that too much. Uh, I think we definitely need our Amoongus here. That Focus Sash is going to be super, super nice if they do decide to go Trick Room Mode on us. And I think I'm going to go ahead and lead off with Kangaskhan uh, for a possible fake out on lead as well as we have access to like just a bunch of really nice moves here zashian of course is going to be amazing and we're going to bring our amoongus okay they end up going with uh whimsicott kyogre i'm going to go ahead and go for the fake out on their whimsicott and just lock thunder instantly um i don't want to dynamax quite yet because kyogre is actually pretty nice as a dynamax pokemon versus calyrex ice you don't activate weakness policy and you get just consistently high damage so that's always super cool let's see what we do here uh, they're going to go ahead and Dynamax. I'm likely going to lose my Kyogre, but let's see if we can get a Paralysis here. That's decent damage. No Para. They go for the Geyser there. Uh, let's go ahead and send in the... Um, do I want to go Amoongus? Yeah, I think I do. Uh, I'm going to Dynamax here, and... I would say it's probably well worth it to just Max Lightning Kyogre. Or do I want to just Hailstorm Rillaboom? I think I might go for the Hailstorm and the Rillaboom. It's probably Sash, but it might just be worth it. Ah, oh, man, that's kind of tough. Um, let's do this. Let's go for a little bit of a middle ground play. We'll go Zacian and we'll go ahead and Rage Powder. That should catch a few things. Um, if they go for a Max Lightning and a Zacian, I won't lose it. If they fake out my Amoongus, it's kind of whatever. They don't fake out, they go for the Glide. I'm going to take that. Uh, he goes for the Lightning on the Amoongus, which is super nice. He's probably expecting a Spore or something. I wasn't really looking for that uh, at this moment. Uh, but here, uh, let me go ahead and go for a Protect as well as a Seed Bomb. They're likely just going to... They're going to want to Geyser my Zacian, I think. Uh, but they shouldn't be able to KO my Amoongus unless they have Ice Beam, which uh, I think they probably do. But even then, it's going to be kind of close. I think they'd want to focus Zacian, if anything. Alright, they go Whimsicott. Protect here. They go for the Geyser. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. 
Uh, I do still have Rage Powder, and that did a decent amount of damage. Let me go ahead and go for the uh, Behemoth Blade into... Ooh, I'm going to take quite a bit of damage here. I'm going to get my Kyogre in, and I'm actually just going to go ahead and go for a Seed Bomb to finish off this thing, because I don't want to drop to, like, um, an Origin Pulse. Goes for the Ice Beam. I live it, though. That's awesome. Keep my guy. I now have quite a bit of pressure. I still have in Dynamax, too, so we're in kind of, kind of a good spot. I would say we're in a pretty decent spot. Uh, let's go ahead and... I mean, Amoongus doesn't do too much for us here. A Helping Hand could also be very, very annoying. Let's just do this and hope for the best. <laughs> I think that's really all we can do. Um, I do get Regenerator on my Amoongus here if I switch out, which could be super nice. But I don't know if I want to lose the Zacian just yet. I mean... I'm at 42%. Yeah. Let's just deal with you. I'll get my regen. It could be kind of nice. Oh, he's got helping hand. Oh, we lost this dude. Yikes. Okay, I think we lose this game. Uh, Yeah, probably. Let me go for the bomb. Maybe I can maintain a broken sash on that guy and we'll go for this. I'm fairly certain. Oh, he's got Cotton Spore. That's pretty cool. Woodhammer doesn't quite knock me out. I do get rid of him, uh, but I'm probably in range of whatever this Whimsicott wants to go for. Uh, and that will maintain a Broken Sash. There's the Calyrex. Easy. Okay, yeah. Good game. Good game. Uh, let me go for the Double Protect. All right. So now uh, we have to consider a few things. Uh, is it fast Calyrex? If so, how fast? And also it doesn't matter uh, because he's going to outspeed me. So let's Rage Powder and just try to Behemoth Blade. I'm pretty sure I just lose. Yep. All right. Good game, dude. I'm glad you're a good sport too. Very nice guy. All right. But yeah, oh, that was kind of cool. I mean, like the... Uh, the Cotton Spore tech is always something that you have to think about with Whimsicott. Well, not always, but it's like, Whimsicott has so many tools that, like, when you see Cotton Spore, you go, ah, I should have thought of that, even if it's not terribly common. Now, with Scrappy, we actually have something kind of cool here. We can actually break a, um, we can break a, what's it called? The thing that this thing has, the Shadow Shield? Is that what it's called, Shadow Shield? Yeah, we can break Shadow Shield on the, um, on the Lunala here, uh, as well as... Do I want to lead off Lando? I'm a little bit scared to lead off Lando because it could be very bad into this dude, but on everyone else, it's super useful. I think it's probably in my best interest to go with Zacian on lead, and we'll bring Lando in the back as well as Kyogre. Yeah. He does go Thundy, so I'm very glad I did that. Uh, let's go ahead and just deal with the Lunala. Lunala doesn't tend to run Fake Out, so I can actually do this pretty safely, and I also have Sucker Punch for the next turn. Or not fake out. What? He has protect on Lunala. I meant to say Lunala doesn't tend to run protect. I really didn't expect that. Um, yikes. Okay, screw it. Let's just do that. Yeah, I'm not used to seeing protect on Lunala. That's kind of cool. Because nah, typically it's like Moongeist Beam, uh, Trick Room. What's that last move? Uh, Meteor Beam and like one last thing. Alright, there's the Moongeist Beam. I shouldn't take too much because I am running a pretty special defensive set. And we'll get rid of the Lunala there. I'm gonna get in my Kyogre. And this is kind of rough because I don't exactly have a lot of options here. Uh, Yikes, okay. I think I kind of have to do this. I'm gonna call Max Lightning into the Kyogre. I have to get in Lando now and protect my, my Zacian. Even if I'm going to give him Defiant, it's it's just like something I have to accept. Get a nice little attack drop on you. Goes for the Airstream. Not great. Uh, however, he is only at plus one and I now have this again. While I am Scarf, I'm not going to live this hit. Uh, it's in my best interest to attempt a double protect and I have to max Geyser you. Because I'm going to lose my Zacian here otherwise. There's the Finny. Let's see if I survive somehow. Ooh, okay. <laughs> uh, Might have gotten a little bit lucky there. Can't lie. Can't lie. 
Uh, Groudon tend to be AV. So let's just double it. Uh, does Geyser do more? I'm not... Let me think. Stab, 150 divided by 2. So uh, 75 times 1.5. Uh, and then Hailstorm. Hailstorm is just stronger. We'll just double it. Okay. Uh, that's fine. I'm just going to Geyser you now and protect my, my Zacian. You shouldn't live. And I have Thunder because I haven't locked into a move yet. Nice. Okay. So that's game. Uh, we get our Thunder off. We get our Behemoth Blade off. Uh, at this point, it's going to be like Muddy Water. Like that's their play. <laughs> Until I like miss every hit and lose eventually. And they disconnect. Everyone's just like a bad sport today. Everyone's just being a bad sport today. On Mother's Day, go kiss your mother. Go do that. Okay? Go give her a hug. Let's get another game. Hopefully Kangaskhan can do something beyond sucker punching a Lunala today. <laughs> How are you guys spending your Mother's Day? Spending it watching a Moxie Booster video? Oh, hey, look, it looks like we're going to do the exact same thing. Uh, let's do that exact same team pretty much we're going to be facing. So, yeah. And... Salty Points, thank you. GLHF. I don't know. I, I, I don't, here's, here's my thing. The one thing that I just don't do on the ladder is not follow common ladder etiquette. Say good luck, have fun. Say good game. Uh, what else? Uh, don't disconnect in the middle of a battle, that sort of thing, you know? Alright. So they end up lead off with uh, Thunderous Lunala. Do I dare do this a second time? I do. Do I dare do it again? I think I do. Let's see what I can get from this. Okay, are they going to protect? They don't protect. That's awesome. Almost get a KO. That's within Sucker Punch range, though. So I'm actually in a pretty good situation. I'll just Sucker Punch here and Behemoth Blade Thunderous. Thunderous actually doesn't comfortably take that hit too well. Uh, I fail the Sucker Punch. That's fine. They're going to knuckle me. Uh, however, now... Not in the worst of situations, honestly. Okay. And in this situation, uh, I'm going to go ahead and go Lando, and I'm going to max guard here. That's probably my best play. I'm going to give him a plus one. He should feel, he should feel pretty comfortable KOing me, I think. Uh, so I'm going to max guard on this turn. I'm going to go for another B-Blade into the Thunderous. I'm mostly concerned with that. Uh, they may even double the Lando. And even if I do fail this max, uh, even if I do fail this play, I still get an airstream into Thundee next turn, and it's kind of whatever. That play worked out. They're going to go for a Meteor Beam. They're trying to double the Lando, and it just completely failed for them. Get that off. Uh, and now, now, I go for the airstream into you, and I think I just stay in with Zacian and attempt a double protect. Or not a double protect, to just get my first protect. <laughs> they shouldn't KO me. Yeah. Get that off. That's great. You can no longer reset the weather. And if it is a Venusaur, I'm just going to get my Kyogre in. And uh, max airstream it. Yep, it's Venu. Uh, so let's go ahead and just go for the airstream. Switch in the Kyogre. Uh, we should be good to go. I kind of hard wall Groudon. Could be Sash, but even if it is, it's whatever. Because of that. Because now we have Kyogre on the field, and I can just go ahead and click, uh... Might as well Swords Dance at this point, and I'll go for the uh, Water Spout. It doesn't really matter. There we go. Alright, good game. Uh, let's just Swords Dance, why not? Good game, well played. But yeah, no. The, the Scrappy on Kangaskhan is super useful in uh, a lot of situations that you don't expect it to be. Uh, like, especially for Calyrex Shadow, I'm excited to face that because Fake Out into Sucker Punch, well, it doesn't, it, it probably won't KO. It, like, comes pretty close. Let me, let me actually run that calc for you guys real quick. What am I, I have 156 attack. So Kangaskhan, we're not Silk Scarf, we're AV. So let me get rid of that. 156 Jolly. And we'll give it a Sucker Punch and Calyrex Shadow. Fake out does uh, 17 to 21. Yeah, it's it's almost always a KO. So that's really cool. 
Like, you can just shut it down, especially since a lot of uh, Calyrex Shadow are Focus Sash. Like, that's just super cool. We haven't clicked Icy Wind yet. Uh, I think if we face a Lando, that actually be a pretty cool play to do. Uh, here we're going to be facing off against a sword fish team. Uh, let me see here. I quite like Angus Khan on lead. Do I want a Moongus? Kangaskhan on Moongus on lead, it actually isn't that bad. Uh, I get a fake out for whatever's next to the Thunderous, and then I just put the Thunderous to sleep. I'm going to try that out. Uh, it might not work out. I'm, honestly, I don't really mind. Like This is just kind of a fun little video to record, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, and I'll bring my Kyogre in the back. All right, cool. No, I'm cool with that. Uh, if I get taunted, I don't know if I'm going to get taunted, to be honest, but usually these things are AV, so I should be able to put it to sleep. And they don't have any grass types to switch in on it. He's going to Dynamax. I get my fake out. He's going to sleep. Good night. Everyone say thank you, Mr. Focus Ash. Thank you, Mr. Focus Ash. Okay, cool. Oh, he's Lum. Well, uh, that didn't work out in the way I really wanted it to. I was very hopeful for that. Truth be told, let's go ahead and uh, panic. I think panicking is not a bad idea here. I can't Icy Wind. Um, and I don't know if my Double Edge will KO the Whims got from that range. I can, however, Rage Powder. Excuse me, my sickness is showing. Uh, honestly, more concerned with the Thunders at this point. Let's just double edge that. And I'll... I don't even think I have to Rage Powder. Let's just try to Spore again. I'm pretty sure I'm going to fail, though. Because they should just put me to sleep. Or not put me to sleep, but, you know, do that. KO me. The, the ultimate sleep. Crit. No, no crit. All right, that's fine. Uh, here, I'm going to get in my Zacian. Now, a helping, hand, a helping handed hit would be kind of bad, but uh, I should be able to secure a KO if I do this. Sucker Punch into Behemoth Blade will do it. If they have helping hand, it's kind of, you know, whatever I'm going to lose anyways, but uh, that's just that's just the risk. Uh, once again, we face Cotton Spore. However, however, this should KO because he's below 50%. Bam. Okay. He's not AV, so he wasn't bulky ever. Uh, and now we get our Kyogre in. We still haven't Dynamaxed. Uh, let's go ahead and just go for the Max Lightning and Protect. He goes for the Cotton Spore. That's fine. I don't mind being a slow Kyogre at this point. Goes for the Water Spout. We take a pretty decent amount here. Uh, but this should KO since he has Life Orb. And now we're in a pretty good spot, I have to say. Uh, let's go for the Max Geyser as well as a Behemoth Blade. Yeah, if he's got Helping Hand, like, I'm going to lose one of my Pokemon, but I'm probably in a winning position. Goes to the Helping Hand, into the Play Rough, does not KO, I win. Awesome. That was that was pretty clean. That was a pretty clean game. Let's do this. GG. Awesome. All right. Let's get another. And I, I do have to apologize again for the shorter video. Like, today is going to be another shorter video because I am pretty sick. Um, but I think uh, I'm going to try to prepare a VGC lore video for tomorrow because... Now that I'm out of college and I'm like on the job hunt, I'm technically unemployed and have a lot of free time, and that's a shuckle. That is a uh, that is a shuckle. All right. So, how do I deal with this? Uh, I would say Amoongus is actually pretty clean here. Also, it's probably coaching on the Mian Xiao. Huh. This is a certified huh moment. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's go. I really don't know what to do here. I'm very scared. I mean. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Uh, we'll lead off Lando. I think Lando's pretty safe uh, in Kangaskhan. Uh, we'll bring the Zacian for sure in the, in uh, in the Kyogre and we'll just see what we can do. This is gonna be the last battle anyways. I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with the results we've gotten today with a team I just threw together in five minutes, so let's see what we can do. Yeah, I think that they're probably gonna want to just go ahead and lead off Mian Xiao and coach whatever they want to go for. Yep, that's uh Sogalio. <coughs> All right. Um, 
these things are typically sash. I mean, I don't see a reason not to just airstream and just live with the consequences. <laughs> Let's see if he goes for the fake out on my Genghis Khan. He does not, so while he's not going to flinch, I will still get this KO. And I'll see, I can't ask for much more than that. Um, when the Zacian comes in, I'm just going to max guard turn one. Also, he's life orb, so that's good to know. Uh, it's basically just, that is a, that is a Sableye. Let's max guard here, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and go for a double edge into a sucker punch on that Sableye, and I think that'll do it. He goes for the Will-O-Wisp, uh, I'm faster, this sucker punch better KO, dude. Oh, he just, he just went for it. He just hit me with that. Uh, okay, this is going to be close, this is going to be close. I think I go Kyogre here. No, I don't. Do I need a double max guard? Is that what this is going to come down to? I'm going to airstream you and protect you. He went for the quash. Yikes! Okay, I probably lose. Probably lose here. However, I mean, I can just lock Origin Pulse right now and try to double protect. I've gotten a lot of double protects today, I think. Or did I not get any double protects? I don't know. I forgot. I think I got one earlier. Fail my double protect. He gets the Will-O-Wisp off. Uh, I'm going to outspeed here, though. Let's see if this does enough. No, and he's going to KO me with a wild charge. Honestly, I'm not sad. This is a pretty This is a pretty cool team. GG. Well played. That, that was a pretty cool team. I'm not, I'm not terribly upset. All right, yeah. Oh, I didn't even send it. But yeah, uh, honestly... Didn't really gain or lose points today. I might have gained like two. So for a team that I'm testing out at 1500s, like high 1500s, uh, that's, that's not terrible. I think that this could do something if I tweaked it a bit to uh, fit the metagame. Obviously, we didn't face like Rinia Sun or anything today. And I didn't exactly have a contingency plan for that. I, I have a Kangaskhan with AV and a Scarf Kyogre. Uh, I, I get absolutely annihilated by Gastrodon and Charizard. Like uh, Amoongus barely does anything in that matchup. So yeah, I mean, obviously, we got kind of lucky with our matchups today, but I think it was still a fun, a fun video. If you guys enjoyed, do me a favor, leave a like on it, subscribe, turn notifications, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.